Today we're going to have a look at creating ourselves a logo and what we're going to do is we're going to open up Art Text 2 and it's very easy to make a logo because you can just choose one of these options here from the template gallery to get you started. So maybe we want to go with In The Groove and choose that. And this is our starting point for our logo. Okay, what we've got here is you see we've got a uh, background, which is our rectangle here. We've got In, which is in there twice. We've got The twice and we've got The Groove twice. It's all very well having that as our uh, starting point, but we want to change that and do something a little bit different. So maybe we want to have a different uh, background, which we can easily change using these things over here. Choose something really lovely looking. Let's go for that one there. And let's uh, change the size of it as well to make it uh, fill the screen a bit better. We can just uh, do it by this bit here to make it fill the space better if we want to uh, just use the space uh, better within the application. But you can also set the size down here. So let's say we want to have it uh, 1000 by 600. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, change each of these individually. It's the white part of our in the groove. And we can use one of our nice little effects. We can make it into uh, that sort of shape look. Give it a, a pillow effect. Cherry, there's a nice colour. We'll choose that one and make that into cherry as well. Then we've got uh, the background here. You can do all sorts of things with this. You can put in a uh, picture in there if you want to. A bunch of flowers there. How nice is that? Or we can go for a linear gradient perhaps. Let's put a gradient in there. Let's change that. What we might want to do, in fact, is we might want to uh, select a few of those at the same time. Okay, so we want to select that one, that one, and that one, and put a gradient in there. Go for a linear gradient. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? So you can just see how easy it is just to uh, change a few things and play with it until you get a colour that you're happy with. You can put a stroke around these things. So that's without the uh, stroke on there. It's got uh, a single stroke around it in that colour and you can change the width of the stroke. Let's go to this one again. You can put a stroke around that again if you want to. And you can change the colour of the stroke. So just how easy it is to make a really gruesome looking logo without even trying. There you go, in the groove. If you want to change the text on this you go into this bit here, and we'll change that from groove to root. Go to this one. So as you can see, we started off within the groove, and now we're in a root. Let's take that, 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 and that. Move it all over a bit. You can change the opacity on your layers as well. So do that quite easily. There, you can change the blend mode too. So maybe we want to have it uh, a colour burn. Not too nice. Or hard light. Gives a different effect again. Luminosity. We'll go for saturation. If you keep playing with this here, you can take a perfectly good logo and make it look totally ugly. And there we have our new logo which we can use wherever we see fit. And the next thing to do, of course, is to go to the uh, export menu. And we're going to export that. Uh, you can send it out as a PNG, PDF, TIFF, JPEG, or even as an EPS. In this case, we'll send it out as a PNG. Let's save that, and away it goes. That's the logo that I just exported out.